Hello, this is Renee and welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Okay, Collective, I'm really getting the energy that this is a person who may have already been in your energy. I feel like this person is really trying to find balance in their life. They're trying to make changes in their life. I'm really feeling a lot of Libra energy. Um, so this person is really trying to get some kind of balance. Give me a message. How does that person feel about them? How does that person feel? Give me a message. How does that person feel? And Justice card, stick with your truth. Everything will turn out just fine. Ooh, okay. Let's get another one for that before I say anything. Justice card. Thank you, Spirit. Boom. Mm. Tidy up your life so that you can make space for something better. Okay. Okay, Collective. What I feel like is that your person feels like you're judging them. They feel like you're judging them about the way that they live their life. And I feel like your person is making small strides in order to make changes. Um, but I feel like they see you as judging them. Give me another message for my collective. Tell me about their person's heart space. What's going on in their person's heart space? The magician. Okay. You have everything you need to do anything you want. So, let's get one more card. I feel like your person is making changes. But like I said, and I, I think I just said that, they're making small strides to better themselves, right? Um, but I feel like they're working on it. They're making changes. They're working on being better. They're working on manifesting you back into their life. And they feel like you'll only accept an offer to come back if they make these changes. The Five of Swords. Yeah. Okay. The Five of Swords in the heart space. So your, your person's heart is changing. But they're very fearful about the changes that are being made. They're very fearful that it's all going to be for nothing. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, because we have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups at the bottom. So I feel like there's a lot of confusion as to how to make these changes, where to start, and how to go about manifesting you back into their life. They're, they're very confused at the moment. They don't know, they kind of don't know which, it, which way is up. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. What is their challenge? Wow, okay. The Cozy Witch. Take a chance for each morning is a new beginning. So they're worried about taking a chance. They're worried about... They're worried if they're going to make the effort... And you're not going to receive them. We have the Seven of Wands and the Page of Swords in reverse. They're afraid to speak their truth because they feel like they'll have to defend themselves. They'll feel, they feel like you just won't accept them. Like, 
you'll judge them very harshly. And we already have here that they feel very judged. They feel like you're judging them very harshly, you know? They feel like no matter what they do, that you just won't see them in a good light. Give me an outcome for this person. Give me an outcome. Give me an outcome. The Seven of Cups. Confusion. And I didn't even realize I put that card back in my deck. At the bottom we have the King of Cups. So this person has a lot of love for you, but they're very confused at the moment because they're not sure which way to turn, which way to go, how to start this process because they feel like the truth that they need to bring to you is going to make them feel defensive because they feel like they have to defend something from you. They, they don't feel like you're going to be actively listening and they don't feel like you have very much faith in them at the moment. They feel like you've lost faith in them and they still carry a lot of love for you. They they don't want to give this up. You know, I, I feel like this person admires you a lot more than you realize because you are making them so anxious, so confused to the point where they just want to shut down and kind of pull back. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Why are they so confused? Why are they so confused? Three of Cups. You could have people around you or they could have people around you, around them, who are giving them horrible advice. And the Emperor. Okay. This person feels like they can't be the person that you want them to be. And they feel like there's people in your ear telling you not to give them another chance or not to not to even listen to what they have to say. If this person is not sure you're going to accept them, give me one more card. I'm getting the feeling that this person is really feeling talked about. Like, people are judging him left and right. Okay, I got two. I got the Six of Wands and the Ace of Wands. The Six of Wands reversed. And the Ace of Wands. Your person feels very defeated at the moment. And they don't know how they're going to take action, but they feel like they need to. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay, collective. I feel like your person feels like they can't win in this situation. They feel like it's not going to be a good outcome, but they want to try. They want to make the effort. And I feel like they have a lot of passion towards you. A lot of feelings that have ignited um, very spontaneously. And this person may take some kind of spontaneous action towards you, even though they feel like it may not go the way that they want it to go. Right? Yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. They definitely want to come forward. <laughs> the nine of wands. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like when they come forward, their guards are going to be totally up. But they know that they have to move forward. They know that they have to make a stand because they don't want to lose you. Look at this. We've got the ace of pentacles, the nine of wands, the three of wands, and the ten of wands. 
So this person feels overwhelmed. They feel overwhelmed with regret because of building walls between you. And they know that they have to remove those walls. They know that they have to move forward because they fear that they're going to lose you for good. They feel like it's at that time where you're moving forward, you're moving on. It could be that maybe they have seen you out because they check on you often. Um, especially with that page of swords in reverse. This person spies on you. They, and I, I don't think it's in a sneaky way. I don't think it's in a malicious way. I think that they just check up on you. Um, but whether you know it or not, somehow, some way, they do check on you. They do see if you're at home. <laughs> um, they see what you're doing or who you're with. And they do keep tabs on you, even if it's just by social media. Okay, collective, that is what I have for you. So you have a decision to make, my collective. Um, <clears throat> this person feels really overcome. You know, they're burdened with a lot of regret. A lot of remorse for the situation and I feel like they they see it as not going well for them when they do come forward but in a way I think that they have no choice because they don't want to lose you for good you may not see it you may not believe it but especially with the magician and the five of swords in their heart space, this person has a lot of fear of change. They're scared. They're scared. They don't know where to start. Okay, that's what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And many blessings to you. Love and light.